I am Bill Cortright with Living Right with Bill Cortright. And this is the Stress Mastery Podcast, where we take you from the science to the spirituality of stress mastery. Hello, and welcome to the Stress Mastery Podcast. I am your happy host, Peggy Romero, here for the Saturday Podcast. This week, we've been talking about goals. Wow. What can you say about goals? I mean, it's such a big topic. There's a million different ways to go with this. So starting off, goals are defined as the object of a person's ambition or effort, an aim or desired result. So why do we set goals anyways? Actually, I'm not sure if that's the right question because I think it was on this podcast that I heard 97% of people don't even set goals. Well, if you're one of that majority, you are missing out. So why don't you set goals? Well, coming from someone who's a dreamer and a planner and a doer, I'm a goal setter. I'm a goal getter. I realized a long time ago, we all need a reason to get up in the morning, a reason to get going every single day. I believe that if you don't have goals and plans, that you're just like here, I guess, existing, but not actually living. I mean, you got to have something to live for. Living things, we all have sparks. We all have this little twinkle. I love making goals, probably because it feels so great when you achieve them. I mean, what an accomplishment when your wish comes true, when you achieve your heart's desire. Man, there's nothing better. It feels amazing. So set your goals, big goals, and then go after it. Set your goals, make your plan, set it for yourself. And then don't get swayed by other people's opinions. It doesn't matter what they think that you should do or you shouldn't do. They don't matter. You do. Sometimes the people in our lives, they don't support us. Sometimes they don't know how, but often they just really don't want us to change, especially if you're trying to make big goals for yourself. They don't want you to get hurt. They don't want you to do things different. And all of these things can become distractions and they cause us to lose focus. It's time to create new habits and new routines, and it takes time. It takes consistency. So don't be like a little kid losing focus where you're here today and then tomorrow you're on to something else. Set real goals that matter to you. Keep your goals in front of you. Life is too short. Man, I tell you, the older I get, the faster it goes. And so lately it's been flying by. And we don't get a do-over. This isn't the dressed rehearsal, guys. This is the show. <laughs> we only have one shot at this life. We only have one shot to live this day. When this day's over, it's over, and you don't ever get it back. So I encourage you to aim high. Live purposefully and accurately. Reach your highest potential. I mean, why not? We're here living day to day anyways. We might as well do our best. Live on purpose. Take meaningful steps into your desired life. Set your goals and then achieve them with accuracy. Go after it like it's your aim. Make the most of every minute. Don't waste any more time. You can start today just by staying focused. Today is your day. Don't you dare waste it. Set your goals. Make your plans. Get focused and organized. And then please, plan on success. Know that you can achieve it. Have no doubts. So for me, I make a to-do list and then I do it. It helps me keep seeing my progress. This is what I'm going to do this week. This is what I'm going to do this day. I don't know where you're at in your life or how you've been progressing with your 2023 goals. But even if you aren't on pace to complete what you intended for the year, it's okay. Start over if you have to. Or go look and see how you can revise your plan and make the most of the rest of the year. But either way, don't be hard on yourself. Today is the day. And by the way, today is the only day that matters. This is the only one you've got. So it doesn't matter if you got off course yesterday. Refocus. We all have to start somewhere. Believe me, I get it. I totally understand. Sometimes we're just too scared to dream big. Some of us have felt so defeated in the past that we don't even allow ourselves big dreams anymore. Believe me, I know it. I get it. I've been down that road a time or two. But in in a way... None of that matters because the past is the past. So leave it there. Learn from it. Other than that, it's gone. Besides, 
I know you have dreams because we can't fight nature. So don't be afraid to dream. We all have them. We're full of wants and desires, wishes and aspirations for our life because we all have a heart. We all have a creative mind. We all have a great imagination. Now, whether we connect it to or not is a different story, but regardless, it's still there. And we all know we can do better. I mean, we all know it. So why don't we? Well, I'll remind you, (laughs) we are programmed for behavior. And 95% of what we do every day comes from that programming. 95%. 95% of the time we live on autopilot. 95% of the time when you try to change or to step up or to do something different, there's that little voice inside you telling you not to. Don't you dare try that. That's too risky. Remember what happened last time? That's the ego. And the ego wants us to stay the same. Do what we always do. This is our programmed identity. Repetition, repetition, repetition. We do the same thing 95% of the time. That's the comfort zone. This programming controls our behavior and poo-poos all of our new goals. This is our identity and it's designed never to change. You see? So you can't be too hard on yourself. We can't help it. We're human beings. This is the way it is for all of us. But we all know that change is possible, right? I mean, we see people succeed around us all the time. So how do they do it? And how do we do that? Well, I'm happy you asked. Change your mind. Know what you want and why you want it. Make a plan. Decide. Decide to change. Decide to, this time, work through the conflicts and not give up. We know that we were programmed by our environment, but we also know that we can strip ourselves of those old programs. We can get rid of them and create new ones, if we choose to. It is possible to change all that old programming and create new programs that support our new life, the new me, my new identity. And as we release those old beliefs and replace them with the new ones, The new mindset will take hold. And with repetition, 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 they get stronger and stronger. And while this is happening, those old programs become weaker and weaker. They just become a glimpse of who you used to be. That's how you succeed. This is how you change your identity. Ta-da! Change the routine. Create new habits and routines that will support the new goal, the new plan, the new you. Learn to set your day every day with intention and close every single day with gratitude. Be thankful for who you're becoming. Be thankful for who you are in your new identity. Take one little step at a time so that you don't get overwhelmed. This is how you change your mind. This is how you change your body. This is how you change your job. This is how you change your relationships, how you change your lifestyle. This is how you change your whole entire life. Create a new one. Step by step, stick to the plan. How? Well, I'm happy to remind you. You have to set the right goals for yourself in the right way. You've got to stay connected to your heart, your imagination, and stay connected to your true why. This is where the power really is. It's not willpower, it's why power. Always remember your why. I want to feel better about myself. I want to love me. I need a bunch of energy because that feels amazing to me. I want to be able to hang out with my teenage grandkids at an amusement park from early in the morning when it opens, clear till night when it closes. And I can. I also want to be able to crawl around on the floor with my grandbabies. Now, these are grandbabies that I don't have yet, but I'm going to have them. And I don't like to sit around much. I need lots of high energy to live my life. And this is a life I'm not done living yet. I'm far too busy to feel run down. How am I going to help you if I'm run down? How am I going to help others feel a sense of I can do it if I'm too tired to get up off the couch and teach them? How can I create a shift in the planet if I can't maintain the shift I've made in myself? That's me. That's my why. And you have that kind of passion in your heart for something too. I don't know what it is. That's up to you to figure out, but we'll help you with that. But I know that you have to believe in yourself. You have to have faith and you have to know that you can achieve the goals. Know it. Have faith in yourself. Connect to your heart, your imagination. Feel it. Believe it as if you already have it. I am this person. And then don't doubt yourself or the plan. Notice the thoughts that you think. 
what you think you create. It's what's in your heart that defines you, what you feel you attract. Pay no attention to what you see on the outside through your eyes. It doesn't matter. What do you see in your mind's eye? What do you hold in your heart? That's what you pay attention to because what you imagine you become. Notice what you hold in mind. It is so important. Understand this. If you want your income to change, got to change the program. If you want your relationship to change, change the program. If you want anything in your life to change, yep, you got it. Change the program. It's always what you hold in mind. Change your mind and your life will change. I finally get it. I got so tired of living in force. You know what living a forceful life gets you? You're right. Counter force. More force. Like a vicious cycle that you can't get out of. Well, you think you can't get out of it, but of course you can. Just stop. Just stop. Whatever it is, it will melt away. I promise. Stop fighting life. Remember what I said? Don't doubt yourself or the plan. Okay, that doesn't mean that you can't change the plan. You most likely will change the plan. Perhaps you'll change the plan many times. The goal may not change. The goal may change just a little bit. But the plan, it needs to be flexible. Pay attention to the process. Stop beating yourself up against brick walls, trying to force the issue. Sometimes you got to figure out how to climb over the wall or dig under the wall. Go to the left instead of the right. Sometimes you realize it's knocking you around. So change the path. Maybe change it a little, maybe change it a lot, but go around it a different way. Don't fight. Notice when you hit the wall. Be flexible and willing to change course. Don't sit there in the red zone, angry, frustrated, and, you know, upset. Let it all go and move on. Remember, we make better decisions in the green zone than in the red zone. And then when things are going well, enjoy it. Notice the flow. Enjoy the beautiful peaceful energy. You can actually feel it if you're willing to slow down long enough to experience it. It's amazing. No worries, no fear, no force. Ah, just peace. (laughs) Funny. Yeah, right. Just peace. Is that all? (laughs) Well, for me, peace is everything. And oh, how I love peace. And oh my gosh, it has taken me so long to ever be able to experience it in the first place. Because I always tried to force everything. I tried and failed a dozen times before I would ever change the plan. So stubborn. I had to have things my way. I suppose it was a bit like failing. I got really great at getting my butt kicked. So good at it. So getting so good at getting knocked down and hopping right back up again. So good at using disappointment and just desperation as my driving force force again. Thank heavens, I finally changed. Finally, with lots of experience, I now can use the conflicts, those boulders as learning tools. Even if all I learned from that was, wow, don't ever do that again. (laughs) Learn from it. Get back up. It will make you stronger. Staying down allows defeat. You cannot fail if you get back up and keep going for it. Keep going for it. Refuse to quit. You cannot fail. Get it? You will never fail again at anything ever as long as you get back up and try again. So there's no reason to have a fear of failure. Be flexible. Take what didn't work out. Come at it with a new strategy that will work. Just don't give up. This is why it's so important to set your goals properly. We call it higher goal setting at Stress Mastery. That's uh, Bill's program. I have heard many times including from myself. Oh, never mind. That's never going to work. That's going to be too hard. That goal wasn't realistic. I'll just forget about it. With the way that we do higher goal setting here at Stress Mastery, there is no never mind because higher goal setting is your goals, your desires, your intentions. They're connected to you. They're connected to your true self, connected to the heart. So you can't give up because you'd never want to. It'd be kind of like giving up on yourself. (laughs) That's how connected you are to the goals. You become part, uh, you're like one with them. The goals are who you really are when you're being your true self. When you have goals that are connected to your purpose, it's almost impossible to say, oh, never mind, just forget it. You just can't, you can't do it. It isn't the same as those goals that you make for a New Year's resolution, 
most of the time anyway, here today and then forgotten by January 15th. Yeah. When you take the time to do higher goal setting correctly, you will stay motivated because it's your heart's desire. With practice, it will become your new identity as if you already have completed the goal. And it feels so good to be accomplished that it just doesn't go away. So even if you lose focus for a few, you'll come back to it. You just can't help yourself. The plan will have to be flexible and changeable, but the intention will never disappear. These goals are connected to your heart and to your soul, to your very being. So many people have these dreams, big things that they wish to accomplish, like me with the book I wrote. I had that book in my heart for decades, but I was afraid. I never even spoke it out loud. Always afraid of what other people would think. Always afraid of failure. Always afraid about my own idea. I mean, to be honest, I was even afraid of what I thought or what I'd say. (laughs) What the heck do I have to tell people? Who do I think I am? Who wants to read my book? I mean, seriously, who cares? I kept it tucked away, unspoken, but never forgotten in my heart. Maybe just an ember, not quite a spark. I guess there was too much fear and not enough courage. But it was there all along. I just didn't dare to dream it. I didn't dare to make the idea big enough for myself to really imagine it. Until one day I was. So I set my goal. I stayed on it. I came back to it every time I got distracted by life. I wrote my book. I published my book. Unimaginable. (laughs) But I did it. I dared to dream. I dared to put it out there. I imagined it. I created it. And there it is. It came to life. I can actually hold it in my hand and turn the pages. I did that. Finally, me. I achieved the goal and it feels so good. And I know that you have dreams too. What dreams do you have tucked away that seem just too big? What is your impossible dream? Probably have one. Do you have enough courage Enough courage that it's going to take to just stand up and say it out loud? If you don't have that yet, maybe just start by writing it on a piece of paper just for yourself. But that's a start. Do it because you're bringing it out of the darkness and into the light. Don't let your dreams stay in the shadows. Take the first step. Be bold enough to declare it. Just start thinking about it. Make big, giant goals for yourself. It's okay. Seriously. Whatever is in your heart is real and we can help you. We can help you by connecting it to your why a why you will never forget. But your dreams have to be connected to your purpose. So I encourage you to go into the Stress Mastery community and do the purpose exercise. We'll help you understand yourself. And then maybe that will help you because it will give you confidence in setting your goals because you will understand yourself by understanding your purpose. You'll start loving to set goals too, like I do. (laughs) I used to make just little small goals, way smaller than what I do now. So I understand why you don't want to put yourself out there. It sucks to start with doubt because then you actually know you're going to fail because you're going to quit and it's not fun to fail. Maybe you are like I used to be and you think you don't have what it takes. You're going to fall on your face if you try this. Remember, that's the ego. It's the inner critic. It's not you. You do have what it takes. I know you do. It's your dream. And I promise you, It wasn't put in your heart to sit there. You're here for a reason. It's there for you to achieve. It's probably a big part of why you are here right now. Why you're this person that you are. We are all here for a purpose. And you don't want to miss your destiny and the joy that comes with that. It's a big success. You don't, you don't want to miss it. Go for it. Oh my gosh. It feels so good to achieve big lofty dreams that we set out for ourselves. Of course it does. I mean, just feel how good, just remember how good it feels just to get little dreams, you know, accomplished, little goals. I know that the reason that we have these small accomplishments is because those little steps become bigger steps. The little things in life give us the courage to do bigger things in life and the bigger, the better. So why set goals? I say, why not? Dare to dream. Great, big, bold dreams. Do the correct goal setting practice. Set your mind and we will help you set the plan. Feel free to reach out to us because I'll help you and any of the other coaches in the community 
go to the Stress Mastery community for free. It's free. Go check it out. The uh, higher goal setting lesson isn't in there yet, but Bill offered to send you the lesson if you go into the community and direct message him. And it's the perfect time to start on 2024 goals because you'll be fully like in the role, in momentum by the time the holidays even get here. And we'd love to help you. We are here for you. Stress mastery really does work, guys. It changes lives every day. I've reached so many of my goals consistently where before I used to fail. I am happy for the peaceful life that I now live. I'm grateful for all the times that I tried and failed because it made me who I am today. I'm confident that when I die, I will hear God say, well done, good and faithful servant. And hearing that has been my lifelong goal. That's the one goal in my life that I guess is my mission in my life. What's yours? (laughs) Well, that's it for today's podcast. Our mission here is to create a shift in the planet. And you can join us on the mission by simply like, share, and subscribe. The links are right below the show notes. I hope this podcast helped you guys. As always, until next time, stay inspired.